Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's talk about unit price, which is the price for one unit. And we're going to use a graph in order to calculate it. Problem one. It says the graph represents the price of apples which are sold by the pound. What is the unit price for apples? In other words, what's it cost for one unit? The key is you use price over the unit measure. And in this example, you're using pounds. So let's just fill in what we have. What you're looking for with the graph is the point that intersects both the x and the y, or the dollars and the pounds. And if you look carefully, it intersects exactly right here. So let's fill it in. For price, we have 4. And for the unit of measure, which is pounds, it looks like we have 6. So now all we do is divide 4 by 6. And let's get started. Bring up the decimal. 6 will not go into 4, but it will go into 46 uh, times. 6 times 6 is 36. Subtract. We have 40 again. 6 times 6 is 36. And then subtract, bring down the 0, and we have the same thing. 6 times 6 is 36. So it looks like we have a repeating decimal. So let's see what this is telling us. It is telling us that the unit price, the price for one unit, is 66 cents. Okay? So now, in reality, what does that really tell us? That tells us, say we go in and we buy 10 pounds of apples. So we would multiply 10 times the unit price, which is 60.66 or 66 cents, and that's going to total six dollars and sixty cents okay so again the unit price is the price for one unit and then you can use that to calculate the price for all kinds of the different units okay let's look at another example okay this time we're shopping for cheese and it says the graph represents the price of cheese which is sold by the pound what is the unit price for the cheese okay remember again it is price over the unit Okay, and in this example, we're going to look for where it intersects exactly. It almost looks like it does here, but it's not exactly on the dollar. But it does at the 4 and the 10, right here. So again, the price is 4. The unit is 10. So now all we do is we divide 4 by 10. So... 10 will not go into 4, but it will go into 40 4 times. 4 times 10 is 40. Bring down, there's no remaining, bring down the 0. Okay. And 10 goes into 0, 0 times. Remember, bring up the decimal. So it looks like the unit price is going to be 40 cents. Okay. 1 unit. So again, say I go in this time and I'm going to buy... Uh, again, I'm going to buy 10 pounds this time. 10 times 0.4, and that's going to be, or 40 cents, and I'm going to spend $4. Okay. Hope that was helpful in figuring unit price. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.